The room was crowded, with a big screen TV at one end, announcing election results. Molotov Mitchell, the host of For the Record on WND.com, the former World Net Daily, took his defeat rather well. We've gotten almost precisely one third of the voters. We should not be able to have that much control in a district that was drawn up for extreme left Democrats. But we did, and that is a tremendous accomplishment. And I give God all the glory for it, and I can't wait to see those numbers go up next time. Now, Molotov, you told me you made a real effort to keep For the Record separate from your campaign. In other words, you did not want the show to influence it. When you become a public servant, you're really focused on the needs of the people, and it's not really so much about your opinion or provoking the left or, or entertaining. What did you learn as a candidate that will stick with you as a commentator? I learned so much about the inner workings of local politics that I was completely unaware of, being someone who specialized in national politics. I will be able to bring a, a, a whole new dimension to political commentary with For the Record because of it. I'm extremely thankful for the experience. Any parting words for your supporters? This has been one of the best years of my life, and there's nothing more satisfying than standing up for what you believe in and staring into the face of corruption and holding your ground. I will definitely be back. If there's one thing I could leave people with, it's this. We can afford to lose every battle but the last. Thanks for talking with us, Molotov. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com.